Hey guys, let us know with Crypto Marie Local and International. Trump led a violent insurrection, but I still vote for him, says McConnell. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell will vote for the man he holds personally responsible for leading a violent insurrection at his workplace, the U.S. Capitol Congress, seniors Republican declared on Sunday. It was an affirmation of both previous statements the senator has made as well as the modern state of the GOP utterly loyal to the man who three years ago he and others were warmly denouncing after a violent assault on the seat of American democracy left dozens of cops wounded and several dead including members of law enforcement and realtors. The statement was also feeding in to the career of Mr. McConnell 82 who will be replaced as head of the Senate Republican Congress in the months ahead after he steps down in November. A persistent ideological check to the former president within the Republican Party, the Senate GOP leader has liked his colleagues being forced to continue publicly supporting a candidate now facing 88 felony counts and set to be the first nominee of a major party to be under threat of prison time. Mr. McConnell explained his upcoming vote during an interview that aired Sunday on NBC's Meet the Press. You have said that you endorsed former President Trump. Are you going to vote for him? asked Kristen Welker. I said three years ago, shortly after the assault on the Capitol, that I would support the nominee of the party, whoever that was, and I do, he replied my goodness they are afraid of what this former president might say to them at the end of the day you 82 you're going to retire does it matter what this man think of you for you to support somebody who take the place of work where you've been forever allegedly destroying it people lost their life there so many things happen people shit on Pelosi's desk take the shit and smear it on the wall. We saw it happening in our faces. Those people did something that never happened to American history and the world was watching. You willing to say you would vote for this man publicly? The fear of what the former president might say to McConnell, I guess is bigger than him not voting for him. I guess it is ridiculous, it is outrageous, but to which is on, you know. The remark showed Mr. McConnell's unflinching loyalty to party overall and is particularly revealing given that as in off critics of the former president, Mr. McConnell has not meant words or sought to rewrite history surrounding the January 6th attack as some of his conservative colleagues have done to defend a top ally. In 2021, the GOP leader made clear what had transpired on January 6th. It was a violent insurrection for the purpose of trying to prevent the peaceful transfer of power after a legitimate certified election from one administration to the next. Now, Mr. McConnell is confirming that he will vote for the man who sought to prevent the peaceful transfer of power and led a violent insurrection to do so. For one reason, he's not a Democrat. This is ridiculous. This is outrageous. Now, listen, guys. I understand you want to vote for this man. I understand to some people's logic if this man back in power, they think the stimulus check going to be going flowing like it did when he was there. They think the stock market going to be skyrocketing. They think the crypto market going to be skyrocketing. Let me tell you guys something. If this man 
does not win the election. Do you guys know what those people that believe in him strongly will do to this country? I don't think people understand the ending math of what these people are capable of by trying to insinuating that the Democrat did this, did that. He was supposed to win. He did not win because the Democrat have illegal immigrant voting. And all kind. We already hear and see what's going to happen. You guys think January 6th was the worst thing that had happened to American history? You don't know if this man don't win what can happen and this will be the worst disaster for anybody that will witness what happened to America if this former president don't win this election. To which is on, you wish you want him to be there, but let me tell you something. He gets there, it will be one thing. If he doesn't get there, just get yourself ready for the disaster because he's not going to accept it. He's not going to allow it. I'm just saying. <sighs> His loyalists in the House of Representatives, meanwhile, have already ousted one GOP leader in the past year and seemed poised to try it again. Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, may well end up relying on the support of Democrats to save himself from a rebellion led by Trump's acolytes. Mr. McConnell's latest interview comes after the Senate with his support finally sent a national security funding package to the president's desk with funding for military assistance for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan after months of delay. The Senate had come together in, bipart in bipartisan fashion around the legislation, and Mr. McConnell himself led the GOP pressure campaign against Mr. Johnson and the white in the house as he his colleagues in the lower chamber pump the brakes on the bill you know what after all it is up to this man we know he's afraid of what trump might say to him if he doesn't vote for trump it is unfortunate trump has so much power over so many people he is make believe that he can change this country for better and in reality you have to see when he was there how much violence how much the redneck country guys were going around with their uh, flags all over and do so many things i mean how can you say you were better off when this man was in power did you buy a house with no down payment did you send your kids to school with no money? Um, did you go look for a job? You get it not based on the color of your skin, but based on your education. What happened for you when this man was there? Yes, the stimulus check was given because there was a pandemic. Coronavirus was around. A lot of people get fired. A lot of people lost their job. A lot of businesses closed. That's why you get those checks. It's not going to happen. It's not going to continue. If there is not another pandemic, this man is not going to give you money. What made you think financially your life is going to change if this man get back in power? Look at your situation now. Look at your situation. Four years was six of what is it? Six years ago. Or let's say seven years ago. What he did for you that make your life change? It is unfortunate. You can choose to vote for whomever you want to. In my opinion, whether it's him or the current president now, they have no business being in office. Seriously. They both have things that don't make no sense. You guys need to vote somebody in their 50s, in their 40s that has common sense that no, this country is going to change 
based on what's going on now you cannot have somebody who's in power whether it's now or before that cannot understand how people live their life now it's not about them it's not about their pockets it's so many things 88 felonies and you still want to vote for him because you're afraid of what he might say to you oh my god what was this guy that was there in the house when president obama was there i forgot his name he retired this man and met uh mitt romney they don't pull with that crap they let you have it let you know because if it sounds like a duck, it works like a duck, it's a duck. And for one, not many have that much issue, that much problem. It's not because they don't like him. Something happened. Something happened. There was a lot going on behind the scene, and it is unfortunate. It is what it is. Subscribe. Thank you.